Now, as the help is pouring into Thailand from everywhere, on the line with us right now is the U.S. Ambassador to Thailand, Ambassador Christy Kenny. Good evening, uh, Ambassador. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, how are you doing, by the way, at your well, residence? Well, I'm, I'm dry so far, but of course, like everyone else, I'm watching very carefully, and I continue to be worried about all the many people in Thailand who are suffering. I'd like to offer again our condolences to all of those in Thailand who have suffered from floods and whose mm -hmm. families and friends are affected as well. Right. Now, uh, earlier there has been confusing reports, but we would like to start over again by asking you, uh, what did the Thai government requested to the U.S. at first? Uh, could you give us a, a detailed information on that? Sure. Let me explain a little bit about this. We received gosh, a while back, about 10 days ago, mm -hmm. a request from the Thai government for some relief supplies that they thought they might need, and also a request for helicopter support from the United States. Right. And so we immediately sent in our U.S. Marine humanitarian team mm -hmm. to work with the Royal Thai Armed Forces to figure out exactly what relief supplies and exactly what our helicopters would do or be needed for. Based on that, we contributed relief supplies. We determined the most immediate need were boats, pumps, water purification for victims. Mm -hmm. Then we concluded that our, our helicopters would be useful to help survey the flooding and give Thai officials a sense of where the floods were in the waters. <clears throat> so at that point, we pulled in our helicopters and we also put a ship in port. Right. Right. Uh, Ambassador Kenny, um, as of now, so how many U.S. Navy ships are currently at the port of Thailand? There is one port, one ship at port in Lang Chabam, and there are two helicopters on the ground in Uta mm -hmm. And that's because that's what we determined working with the Royal Thai Armed Forces was needed. I've been through a lot of these kind of crises like this. When I was our ambassador in the Philippines, we worked on typhoons together. And one of the things I've learned is you need to bring in exactly the right sort of equipment. Because if you bring in helicopters that aren't what are needed, or you bring in lots of ships but you don't need lots of ships, that doesn't help anyone. You want to bring in exactly what's needed. And we also know a lot of other governments are donating as well. So you don't want to duplicate. You know, you want to contribute exactly what victims need. Right. Now, from uh, working with the Thai Army, between the Thai Army and the U.S. Army, uh, do you know the details of what has been discussed or which areas does the U.S. humanitarian team see is the most risky area and needs most help? Well, what we've seen is that there is a very good effort underway to get supplies to victims and that there are so many volunteers here in Thailand who are helping put together packages of supplies. People are out delivering all over. What we did see was necessary was perhaps some more satellite images. Right. And so our military is now sharing that with the Thai military. And we also did see a need for some very simple things, some more blood donations to the Thai Red Cross, which our sailors did today. And we've also seen a need for additional relief supplies to be donated. So we donated some more pumps and some more boats. Right. Well, Ambassador Kinney, uh, as you were an ambassador to the Philippines, in your opinion, how do you think Thai people are coping with uh, such hardship during the country's worst flood? in decades? I think the Thai people are amazing. They are coping with such courage and such grace at a hard time. I have seen many of the people in Thailand who are suffering. I've talked to people who needed help, and they continue to be like Thai people always are. Mm -hmm. They're warm. They're worried about their neighbors. People help each other so much at a time like this, and it makes me admire Thai people even more. Right. Well, 
uh, Ambassador Kenny, we have to say thank you so much for joining the program tonight. And clarifying all those uh, reports as well. It is my great pleasure. I know that in a time of crises, you can easily get confusing information. And I think it's sometimes hard for people who aren't here with us to understand what we're going through and what we're all doing to try to help. So I thank you for speaking to me tonight, and I hope you and your families stay safe. Thank, thank you. you. Good night. Thank you so much. Kapkonka.